Hello friends, I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. I just got back from vacation. I am getting ready to go out on travel again, so I am trying to shoot some content um, because it's been a while. It's been a while. Life has been busy. But uh, today I am going to be doing a look with two Petal Soft scarves. Um, I'm doing this because Rapunzel is uh, getting ready to run a sale. Um, presumably I will put this up once that sale is actually active. Um, but yeah, if you don't have a Petal Soft scarf, this is them. They have that beautiful, soft, kind of crinkly texture. They have little, little um, wispy bits on the end. I hesitate to call them fringe because they're really not. Um, but they're wonderful. They're very lightweight. They are very, like, soft, pleasant to wear. Um, they're really easy to build volume with if you want, but also if you want less volume, um, they're pretty easy to tame down. So yeah, I'm going to be showing off a look using these two. Um, this look, I actually, it's not an original creation of mine. Um, this comes from a YouTuber. I'm going to link her down below. I think her name is Irene. Uh, and she puts out head wrap videos at a rate that I can barely even begin to comprehend. She is extremely prolific. And a lot of them, um, are more African style geles. They're meant to be done with fabric that has a, has been stiffened. Um, but also a lot of them are with the type of uh, fabrics that I use for a wrap. So this is a wrap that she did. I'm doing mine a little bit different than hers. I'll link her and her videos below. I always recommend following lots and lots of different creators um, who do head wraps because you never know where inspiration will come from. So uh, as you will see, this one has a little bit of a gele type feel to it, but not quite. So I am going to put this on a little bit unevenly. And I'm doing that on purpose. I don't want it super uneven, um, but we're going to start it kind of in a zigzag fashion. So I'm going to tie this at the nape of my neck and then both of my ends. So both my shorter and my longer one. You know what? I think that might actually be a little bit too uneven. I'm going to shift that up just a little bit go. Okay. That feels better. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take both ends and I'm going to sweep them over to one side. So I've got my slightly shorter end and my slightly longer end, as you can see. And then I'm going to take my second scarf and I am going to put this one on really unevenly, very, very unevenly. So um, I want as much length on the one side as I can get. So I'm going to do like so, and I want my long end to come out on this side. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to tie this on top. I'm not, you see this? There we go. I don't want any of that. And then I am just gonna bring this end just kinda up and over a little bit flat. I'm gonna bring it forward because um, the idea is going to be for me to cover it up with the next thing that I do. I really just kind of want that like smooth down. So now, so I get that sitting the way I like. I'm going to take the shorter of these two sides, going to fold in that edge, and this is going to come up and over to begin that zigzaggy type pattern. And I'm going to make sure that I cover up the light blue scarf as much as possible. If there's a little bit hanging out over here, I'm not worried about that. 
but I really don't want it super hanging out. And then I have an itty bitty tail, which I'm just going to tuck the shorter bits in. And then this will come around and get tucked. And now I'm going to take my longer end and I am going to twist. Twist, twist, twist. And then this is going to come up kind of in the middle of my head. And then similarly, this tail is just gonna get tucked back in. And if you can use, this is why I wanted it a little bit longer and so this can also be used to cover up that light blue underneath. And I want to make sure, because I do still have the light blue here, that my dark blue is relatively even going all the way around. And that would be a good thing to check in a mirror. All right, so now I'm going to take my light blue here. And do I want it in front? behind. I think it might go better if I pull that through so that I'm starting a little bit behind. I think that'll be better. I'll find out. And I am also going to take this and start twisting it. And so when she does this, she lays it right on top of that other twist. So I've got, it's a little hard to see that I've got it sitting on top of that blue twist. And as I get over here, I am going to start wrapping it around. And so I'm going to take my top hand here and use that to hold the scarf in place as I start wrapping. And at this point, I don't want it twisted anymore. I want to make sure that it's really unfurled and I'm gonna keep wrapping this and you want to wrap it loosely the looser you can wrap this the better it will look okay the more dramatic the final result will be there we go again Wrap it around, keeping it nice and loose, double checking to make sure that everything is staying where I want to over here. It actually, I wore this around the house just to test out um, and it does stay put pretty darn well. I felt like it was quite secure. I'm going to wrap it again. And then I have just like this little itty bitty tail, which I will wrap one more time and then just tuck in back here. So now is the fun part. We are going to go through and floof. And you can floof this as much as you want, but I think the more you floof, the better. That's really what this look is for. It's for playing with the type of volume that you can get out of this scarf. So I'm really trying to spread it out as much as I can. And I just thought that that was so fun and it really, this is a wrap that feels like a crown and so it's really good with the um like the petal soft scarves but i think that it would also work just as nicely with like a lightweight viscose scarf there you go and you can you know overlap any of these if you want to like tuck in the ends really like play with the shape to get something that you think looks nice. So definitely a little bit more dramatic of a look, 
but I just thought it was so cool and such a nice way to showcase uh, this particular scarf. So here it is from the front, from the side, from the back, and the other side. So that is it. Uh, this is the Irene uh, wrap, as I'm going to call it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, that's a wrap for me. Thank you so much for watching.